Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. My name is Ollie. This is the Ollie's match review for the League Two match, Newport County 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. Uh, before I give you the initial reaction, I am going to ask you to like the video, subscribe, comment, all the good things. We're getting extremely close to 5k, so if we could try and hit that before Christmas, that'd be an excellent milestone to hit. But let's get into reviewing this match. Um, if you had offered me a point before kickoff, I would have happily taken it. Um, I feel that my sort of mindset going into every game this season is I'd be happy with a point, extremely happy with a win. Um, I think we all sort of know that even though it is early days, we're more than good enough to survive a relegation scrap, let alone be in the conversation for relegation. So... I think we'll be all right if we can keep on picking up points and getting the odd win away from home, we'll be okay. Um, so quite positive, especially against a Wimbledon side who are unbeaten in the league and uh, have only lost once, albeit to Chelsea in the Carabao Cup this season. Um, our lineup then, a more sort of um, familiar lineup given the injuries and Rotation for the midweek cup game. Nick Townsend in goal, back four of Adam Lewis, uh, Ryan Delaney, James Clark, and Shane McLaughlin. Two holding midfielders, as always, Bennett and uh, Bryn Morris. Two more advanced midfielders in Harry Tosley and Aaron Wildig. And then the two strikers, Will Evans and Omar Bogle. Um, I thought Will Evans was injured. I saw him. Uh, just before, the, well, not just before the game, I saw him about one o'clock before the game and he had a little bit of a hobble. Uh, told me it was a little bit touch and go. Ends up starting to play 90 minutes, so cheers for that one, Will. Um, <laughs> getting into the match then. Um, first goal came after nine minutes for Wimbledon. Uh, Tilly, can't remember his first name, mate, but sorry, Tilly. Um, Ali Al Hamadi and Tilly doing some brilliant passing. Uh, just on the edge of our area. If it was a neutral, it's probably the sort of football you'd enjoy watching. If you're a county fan, probably not. Um, nice bit of passing work out between the two of them. Al Hamadi passes it to Tilly, puts it on his right foot, hits it across goal. <laughs> it's again, it's a beautiful shot. If you're a neutral or, or if you're a Wimbledon fan, but if you're a county fan, they're a little bit. Um, uh, wasn't expecting him to score that early on, but. It was a goal that was well taken. You could argue Townsend should have done better for it. But again, if that's the extent of the worries when you concede in a goal is, the keeper probably could have done a little bit better. I think there's not too much wrong with the defence. Um, second goal then came in the 30th minute. Tilly once again. A um, little bit of confusion between Aaron Lewis and Ryan Delaney on the Bisley side here. Wildig passes the ball back. I'm not sure if Adam Lewis just mistouched it or if he intentionally let it roll back to Delaney. But you can see they're both a little bit confused and it allows Tilly to intercept. Makes a beautiful little diagonal run, takes a pass. I think it was James Clark. Um, hits it from the centre of the D into the bottom right corner. Uh, well taken finish by Tilly. Um, Seems like he's a regular scorer for AFE Wimbledon, so wouldn't be shocked to see him up there at the end of the season when it comes to the Golden Boot. Um, brilliant little player. Uh, can't really complain. Love to have him in the squad. All those other positive phrases that managers say or get suggested to the one football manager. We did get one back though just before half time in the 48th minute. Uh, Will Evans, surprise, surprise, popping up again. Uh, Lewis is on the Bisley side, just in front of the away fans. Crosses the ball over towards the far post, um, the one closest to the tunnel. Aaron Wildig, I believe, heads it back over the face of goal. Um, Will Evans is at the back. He's got a lovely bit of space. The goalkeeper's on the far post, trying to deal with the um, header from Wildig. Just allows Evans to tap it in. Cool as you like. Great to see him come back and get a goal. Um, showing no signs of slowing down even after that little groin injury flared up. 
so half time two one it's probably thinking we could get a goal here it's always good to get a goal just before half time because it interrupts whatever um the opposition manager johnny jackson in this case was going to say to his team um he johnny jackson did mention in his own uh post-match press conference that he told the lads that they needed to be awake and sort of uh, don't have a little drop in the first 10-15 minutes which is exactly what happened for Wimbledon in the 55th minute we grabbed the equaliser Omar Bogle um, this is a goal we need to have a bit of a conversation about especially the Omar uh, the ball is launched from the halfway line by Ryan Delaney over to the Bisley North stand corner um, Omar Bogle watches the ball bounce sort of chips it over the uh, Wimbledon goalkeeper who sort of come out to close the angle, chips it over him with a little side-footed touch and it just bounces into the net. Now, I think if you ask Omar Bogle, he'll tell you that was intentional and that was the plan. I think if you ask Graham Cochran or any other of the 10 county players on the pitch, I think they'll say it was a fluke. But you never know, brilliant goal. Um if you've not seen the highlights, I implore you to go and watch it for that goal alone. Um, and another moment that made it into the highlights, Nick Townsend, uh, brilliant team once again, world class even. Uh, ball fired across uh, from the sort of Hazel side, goes across the face of goal, and he just, I don't even know how he stretches out to save it, but he stretches his arm probably out of the socket to just parrier wise excellent save uh two excellent goals and an excellent point all in all um still sick still in the playoff race is it too early to say we're going to be in the playoffs probably am i going to say we're in the playoffs definitely um it's optimistic holly what to expect but that's what that's all i've got for this match as always let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section whilst it's down there like the video subscribe share it about do all the things i usually tell you to or don't except to uh next game we've got now is crawley away next saturday uh, it should be a good one get down there if you can um my name's been ollie at the county Oh, yeah, oh, yeah.